everyone! So for today's video, I thought I would share with you all my top 5 favorite face masks of all time. And these range from Korean to American products or ones that you can buy at the drugstore and ones that you can buy from Sephora. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well. Also, I want to hear from you guys what's your favorite face mask if you guys have one. So leave that in the comments below. If you know me, I love face masks. I'm obsessed with them. I pretty much use one every night. I don't know if it's bad, but yeah. <laughs> All of these face masks that I will be sharing are exfoliating, moisturizing, and they even out the skin tone. And those three are very important to me in a face mask. So let's get started on the ones that I am going to be sharing with you guys. So first, I am going to start out with a drugstore mask, or my top drugstore mask. And that is the Freeman's Apple Cider Vinegar 4-in-1 Foaming Clay. And this acts as a mask, a scrub, a cleanser, and a toner. I usually use this as a mask. I don't really use it to cleanse my skin. But yeah, I mean, it's great that it's so versatile. This has kaolin and bentonite clay, which helps to absorb all the oil and the impurities within your pores and just suck it out. And it also has pumice that helps to exfoliate your skin. So this is a very fine um, exfoliator, I guess you would say. I definitely see the difference that the apple cider vinegar has on my skin because it evens out my skin tone to give it a radiant finish. But yeah, I highly recommend this product. It's super cheap. It's like $4.29, I think, on Ulta. I bought it at my local Rite Aid store because they happen to have free bin products. So yeah. So on the other end of the spectrum, for my favorite high-end mask, I like the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. And I have the small bottle but you can purchase the large bottle but it is really pricey for my taste at least it's around $58 I usually get the small one and the small one comes in a pack of three and it has three different masks it has the cucumber, the rose stem, and then the pumpkin one which is my favorite those three together total up to like $20 so yeah, that's as far as I'll go for a face mask, but this works wonders. It acts as an exfoliator, a peel, as well as a resurfacer. So the peel part, it has AHA, which is alpha hydroxy acid. Yeah, it's not a super intense peel. I know like chemical peels, to me, it's super intimidating to hear that because I feel like it's just going to bubble up my skin and cause it to just like yeah like when you get a sunburn and then it like starts pe no but this doesn't do that so this basically it just exfoliates away the dead skin and resurfaces your new skin I got this at the Sephora at the mall that I usually go to but the small mini mask sets, they're usually at the checkout aisle where you see all like the travel size or the sample sizes. This mask is amazing, but it is just a little pricey. I do see a difference in my skin the next day in making my skin look more fresh and rejuvenated. I think there are cheaper alternatives, but if you are looking for one that is of a higher end, then definitely get this one. And all the Peter Thomas Ross masks that I've used are all pretty good. So now for my favorite Korean face mask. I love Korean beauty products, but for face masks, my favorite is the Skin Food Rice Mask Wash Off. Skin Food, if you don't know, is a Korean brand and they specialize in using all natural ingredients in their products. This one has rice bran water so that helps to moisturize the skin and it also has little ground up rice inside which helps to exfoliate and it's very gentle this definitely helps with pigmentation or any acne scarring or anything that you have like spots on your skin because after a couple uses I saw a difference in fading away those acne scars yeah, I really enjoy this product. I know there's a lot of skin food stores opening up in the States now. I 
usually go to the one in Cerritos, but I did see that Ulta is actually selling skin food products, which is awesome because skin food is honestly a really great brand. Highly recommend this if you're in the market for a Korean face mask. My favorite store to shop at for skincare products is Lush. Lush is a UK version of skin food. They also use all natural ingredients, 100% vegetarian, and they are animal cruelty free. So if you are looking for a brand that stands for all three of those, then check out Lush. They have amazing products. They have bath bombs, face masks, toners, um, shampoo, like everything. But my favorite thing to shop for there are their face masks, and I've tried a couple of them. But I'm just gonna share with you two of my favorites because I couldn't narrow it down. The first one is the Mask of Magnum Minty, and this is a face and body mask. So you can use it on your face as well as your body, but I usually just use it for my face. This has peppermint, kaolin, and aduki beads. Beans, sorry. The It's like ground up kind of thick, so it, do, it is a little abrasive, but I think it works pretty well. It doesn't like make my skin red or anything. The kaolin clay helps to clear out your pores and the peppermint in it definitely helps to cool down your skin. I kind of compare using this mask to slathering mint chocolate ice cream onto your skin because honestly, I don't know. To me, it smells like mint chocolate ice cream or mint and chocolate and then just putting it on also helps to have that cooling effect because of the peppermint. So yeah, I don't know. I just think it's like mint chocolate ice cream. My skin feels awesome after and yeah, it has been helping with my acne. Even though it's for all skin types, if you have oily skin, I'd recommend this. So my final face mask product from Lush is the Don't Look At Me face mask and this is the fresh face mask so you do have to refrigerate it while the other one that I just shared, Mask of Magnum Minty, you don't have to refrigerate which is also a plus of why that's like one of my all-time favorites at Lush. And I was first drawn to this product because look, it's like bright blue and it smells like Fruit Loops so the first time I tried it yeah, I <laughs> I really like this because of the color as well as the smell. But it also works amazing. Like, I seriously love this product. I just got it and I fell in love with it. It has lemon juice in it, which helps to even out your skin tone. And it also has ground rice, which helps to exfoliate. This also has Muru Muru butter. I don't know if I'm saying it right. But that helps to moisturize your skin and also has organic tofu in it and that helps to soften up your skin. I see the difference that the tofu and the butter combination has on my skin because my skin feels so soft after using it. I definitely recommend this if you want to try one of their fresh face masks and the downside of a fresh face mask is usually it lasts around two weeks after you buy it and you do have to refrigerate it. So that wraps up my top 5 favorite face masks of all time and I do hope this was very informative and enjoyable to watch. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye!